Here we have a reaction in which iodine monobromide uh, becomes I2 and Br2. So we're going to assume that the equilibrium is established and um, the only way it's uh, started is by adding the IBr and then we need to find the concentrations of I2 and Br2 and we are given the equilibrium concentration of IBr. So we have, that's what we're given, that's going to be 0 0.0124 molar. That's given. So we need to really work backwards. Okay, so um, initially we know that I2 and Br2 are zero because it says we're only adding IBr. But we don't know what that is. So that's going to be the molarity initial. The change is going to be that I2, we'll call that going up plus x, and then Br2, we'll say, goes up plus x. We know that has to be positive x. It can only go up because we're at zero. All right, so then the change for IBR is going to be uh, 2 times x, and it's going to be negative. So actually, at equilibrium, it's going to be the initial moles minus 2x is going to equal 0 0.0124 molar. And then the concentration of iodine and bromine are going to both be x. So now we can set up our equilibrium expression. Kc is going to equal I2 times Br2 over I br the quantity squared. Okay, so that's going to equal, and we're again, equilibrium, the, the, this expression means we're going to use the equilibrium values down here. That's the, these are the only values we can plug into this equation. So that means we have x squared over point 0, 1, 2, 4, and that's going to be squared, and that's going to equal my Kc, which is given as 4.13 times 10 to the minus 2. So um, we had to have that as given, otherwise there would be too many unknowns. All right, so we're going to take the square root of both sides. Because both of these values are squared, it will simplify it if we take the square root of both of those values. And when we solve for x, I'll let you do the algebra, x turns out to be 2.52 times 10 to the minus third when we solve for x. That means that the concentration of I2 equals the concentration of Br2. Again, we don't want to just say x. We don't want to end it here. We want to actually answer the question. And it turns out that x is I2 and Br2, but we're going to state that 2.52 times 10 to the minus third molar. And that's the answer to the question. It says, what are the concentration of both of those species? Okay. But now we need to figure out what is the initial concentration of IBR. And you will remember that we wrote up here our little equation that the initial molarity, and that this is why we did it, because we want to know what is the initial concentration. That's what we started off with. It's not zero because it says that there was some added. So we now know that the initial molarity is equal to minus, I'm sorry, that's not equal, it's minus 2x, and that is equal to 0 0.0124. Okay, that's what we just solved for, times And now we've solved for um, x, so we know that x 
we're going to plug this in in our 2x there. So the initial molarity is going to equal 0 0.0124 plus 2x. And we know that 2x is 2.52 times 10 to the minus third molar. So when we do the math, 0 0.0124, that was, uh, that was given as our equilibrium. <clears throat> we know that the IBR went down from its initial. So uh, to go back to the initial, we're going to add 2x. And so that comes out to 0 0.0174 molar. And that is the initial molarity of IBR.